Hey everybody, I'm Kevin Potter and today I'm going to show you guys how to make an earring using an impression die and fine silver. So what I have here, <clears throat> I call this one, kind of looks like the Cadillac symbol, but this is, we, I think we call it the angel wings die. So with this die here, I made this. So this is out of 22 gauge fine silver. You could just take this entire piece of silver and lay it on top of the die. Um, nothing really wrong with that. But I, what I like to do is trim it up a little bit so that the metal flows into the die easier. So what I'm gonna do, I'll take my earring that I've already made and just a sharp little graver. And I'm just gonna trace it out. If you can remove a lot of this metal it'll allow it to flow into the die better. I'm gonna saw out the middle here real quick. This has already been annealed. All this is gonna do is enable the metal to flow easier into the die. If you think you're gonna use this and do that, that's not gonna work. You won't get a good impression. I'm gonna do it just so I can show you guys what'll happen. And when you do this, you've always, always have to center your work. And you should be using spacers. And we got a very bad impression. Hardly any detail. Um, that's just not acceptable. We're gonna take little pieces. So we've got a lot more detail. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go anneal this real quick. You're only gonna go to a very dull red. You don't even necessarily need to quench. If you quench it while it's red, you can crack your silver. It's a very, very dull red. So it's gonna be dead soft again. So there we go. Looks pretty nice. So now we have a matched pair. So go back to the bench. Yeah, those look really good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my saw. I'm not gonna cut out exactly to the edge. I'm gonna leave a little bit of an edge because I'm gonna show you how to solder a back on this. <laughs> I really like some of these giant files. I think it's like for horseshoers practically. I'm gonna file the back. And the reason I'm filing the back, I want the entire edge, the back of this thing to be dead flat. That's gonna make it very easy for me to solder this together. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take and solder that to that. This piece is hard. I didn't anneal it because I wanted it to be stiff enough for when I solder, things don't get all floppy. Got my sheet of 22 gauge silver. This is fine silver. Sterling is great, but it's not necessary for a pair of earrings. Another reason I left the center in here is so that I have a place to grab it with my tweezers. Because attempting to heat this from the top, it's gonna be pretty much a, a no-go. So we're gonna use some flux. So we are taking our hard solder. I, I like to just rip them off with my pliers. Some people cut solder. I tend to do this because whenever I cut it, it seems to fly across the room and I can't find it. Now, if you just take your torch and just plunge right into it, if your flux is still wet, it's gonna bubble everything everywhere. So you just wanna warm it. 
So use your solder pick. You're going to want to place a few. There we go. So I'm going to start soldering it. We'll start back here. There it goes. There it goes. You can almost, there you go, as you get really good at soldering, you can make it do amazing things. Some people will tell you you're going to have to drill a hole, but I tend to just be willing to take chances. Um, only in, I don't know, I've been doing this 25 years, I only had one piece explode on me. And I don't know what that says about my soldering technique. Maybe it's not that great because I was never able to come. If you completely seal the thing perfectly, it'll blow up. But uh, usually there's a pinhole and that'll let the pressure out. So the next step would be to toss it in the pickle. But we're going to skip that step and we're going to go to sawing. So I'm going to saw this thing out closer and do some filing and we'll get this thing tidied up. Next time we will make the earring hoops for this and the hinges. Thanks for watching.